Welcome back to Make Money Editing. We're currently running a 100 days of YouTube editing challenge. If you're looking to master video editing, boost your skills, or even make money through editing, this is the place to be. For the next 100 days, I'll be uploading daily editing tips, tutorials, and challenges designed to turn beginners into pros. Each day, we'll cover something new, from basic editing skills and viral techniques to more advanced tricks on platforms like CapCut and Alight Motion. First, you come to Lexical Arts and you tap this prompt here. So, depending on the kind of picture you're looking out for, you just come to Lexical Arts and type it, and you're gonna see a whole lot of pictures. So, this is a picture or the prompt that I typed, and you can see the picture it gives me. Once you get the picture, all you just need to do is save the picture and it's going to come into your gallery, right? So, now we want to convert this picture to a 16 by 9 ratio. We'll come to here, Firefly, right here, and you can see where you have the generative fill option. You click on generate. Now you see where you can upload your pictures so you upload the picture that you want to generate a feel for so this is the picture right and you're going to see an option right here that says expand and we're going to click on the 16 by 9 ratio and then we click on generate so in a couple of seconds you can see the results is going to give us right isn't this interesting of course it is so you're going to click on keep and you can see where you have the option to download this picture now we want to remove this picture from this background you come here and you see where you have insert you see an option right here that says brush so you select the brush size here and the brush hardness and you come here and brush off these pictures out of this area like this and you click on generate so in a couple of seconds to minutes you're gonna see the result so you see that no more picture right here so you go ahead to save this picture just as you did previously Next, we want to get another picture where we remove the background of the picture we also generated. So you come here to Photo Room, you can get that on Play Store, right? So you come here to select this picture, right? And you're going to remove the background. Automatically, you click on Transparent and you can see you can get to export and save it to your gallery. Once we are done, we head over to start editing it. So here on Alight Motion, you're going to come here to bring in the pictures. Here is the background. After bringing the background, you come here again to bring in the picture that is the picture without the background here so now you can increase the length of the picture to four seconds right you can do same for the other picture so once that is done you come here and select this picture right and you go to move and transform here you move and transform basically this is very easy just for you to increase to adjust the picture to whatever level you want using the positioning tool right so you can also scale in the picture or scale out the picture so i'm going to be scaling out this particular picture right just like this so it's not hard okay so once you're done scaling it you're going to come here to add you click on the object and you select the camera you come here and click on this option here you click on this camera option and you can now start making the movement of the camera so basically what gives that effect this that brings the picture to life is the camera motion so here we can go ahead to adjust the camera movement on the z-axis like this by zooming in or zooming out right so you can also move to the x or the y-axis right so you add a keyframe here and you can also come here to add another keyframe all right so at this point you can also adjust the x or z-axis like this right and you can also adjust the y-axis like this right just any way you want it to be just adjust it but make sure you do it right so that it gives you the effects you want after that you come here to your graph you set this graph you select this and then you come here to adjust this like this right so it's going to give it a better flow right so once you're done with that you can check it out to see how it looks all right so see this is the movement all right so once this is set and done next you need to do you come here and click on this image right here so at this point you're going to add an effect all right so you're going to use the bend effect right here and you're going to be selecting the angle so at the beginning here you use a keyframe and move the angle to minus 10 and make sure it starts at 50 percent also so 
at this other end you come here and move it to plus 6.7 or plus 6. Point something anything right and then make sure it's also at 50 percent you set the um, graph you come here and select this and adjust this like this right so once you've done this you can see the effect it gives so it's very easy right so once you're done you can come here to advance and uh, tune head you adjust it to about 25 percent and then you're cool to go so now you check out the results